Hello, my name is John Moore, and I'm an artist and developer in Indianapolis, Indiana. And one of the things I always have to tackle as a creative technologist is how do I connect the dots and take my design and creativity and channel it into web technologies. And one of the ways that this always pops up is in, in uh, user interface design or building GUIs or front ends for web applications, building web pages and web whatevers. And you know I looked on the web and of course there's a lot of great information out there but it's so dispersed and you really have to be able to pull out you know the good nuggets of information from a lot of the cruft. And you know as I as I did this you know, I kept wondering, you know, why isn't there stuff out there where there's a methodology, there's a design component, and a coding component where you can tell the person really on a basic level gets all of those facets to create something that really connects the dots and isn't too design heavy or too code heavy or too much about methodology. And so I went ahead and I just created that for myself and the information that I used to kind of get me over the hump in terms of you know really understanding how to tie together you know the design and the coding um, I created this and it's web design using sketch flexbox and jQuery it's an ebook and a crash course uh, set of web uh, set of videos that basically shows you how I do it and what I start with in my course is a basic Ruby on Rails CRUD application and this is just basically um, you know a baby version of Craigslist using Ruby on Rails and so what we have here is a basic web page with links on it. You know, we've got sign in, sign up, we've got drop down, we've got search, we've got a form here, we've got um, titles, category titles, subcategory links. And towards the bottom here we have some static links. And so what I'm going to do is in this series I have a little methodology that I use. It's it's not overdone. It's not this big crazy scrum thing. It's a methodology that you can use if you want to do web design or change a baby's diaper. And I call it ACDC. And basically I assess, conceptualize, design, and code or complete. And I just iterate using those, you know, components and this is a simple way to kind of filter your ideas and make them real and stay on task. So as you can see we just have this bare bones nothing great really basic and what I do is I basically assess that you know I don't I don't like this it's too basic it's too um, simple and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to conceptualize this. You can use a paper, a pen, a napkin, a whiteboard, whatever you want. And we're going to reimagine the header, the search uh, form, static links, the categories. We're going to use some uh, visuals, an icon for the categories. And then we're going to have the title with the subcategories. You know, we're going to have a an aside back here with some links and a footer and we're just gonna conceptualize what we want this to look like so we're assessing here we're conceptualizing here and the important thing now is we wanna morph our concept into the design realm and we do that with a simple wireframe. You know, this isn't anything new. A lot of people, you know, know about mock-ups and wireframes. 
you know you can use flash illustrator inkscape you know magic marker and rulers whatever works for you but you can see we've just cleaned up our concept so we still have this area with the search form the links the categories subcategories so you can see we've gone from here to here and it's the same information and this is the same stuff that we have right here so we've assessed what we have and what we want to change we've conceptualized what we've already assessed and we're saying here you know what do we want this to be and then here we clean up our concept so that we have a good blueprint and so what we do here is we go into sketch and in this course I walk you through how I go through sketch and build this out now there are a lot of plugins there's a lot of ways to do things in sketch sketch is so powerful but I'm gonna in this course everything I touch on I'm gonna do the basics I'm not gonna overwhelm you with a lot of extra bells and whistles we're just going to use the stock lock and barrel sketch okay we're going to do it basic so that you can understand the concepts and some of the things you'll say well you know I could do it easier this way or I could e do it easier that way exactly I want to show you the hard way so that you say okay I get it but there's an easier way and you're gonna find better plugins and better methods to do things but I'm gonna get you I'm going to get you most of the way there doing it the hard way. And so from here you can see how we've got you know our basic wireframe and we flesh this thing out in flash or not flash sketch I always confuse the two. Um, and you can just see how all this stuff is is built, you know text information we're using shapes we're filling we're blending you know we've got things organized in folders so that we have a nice organization here with our um, design and we've also got a version for phones so you can see how our design is able to translate well in different configurations so I'm gonna I'm gonna show you and and kinda explain how I built this out in sketch and you're gonna learn how to take your wireframes and make them a real design and organize things so that you can you know change things rearrange things share things and you can really have a good organization of your your design process using sketch so once we've gone through that design phase we're gonna go through the coding phase and I'm gonna walk you through using CSS, HTML, markup and I'm gonna show you how to use this code to your advantage and to build what you need so for instance let me load up uh, this HTML so this is the HTML that is going to this is the HTML for your web application prototype this is what we're going to be building in the course right here and you know it's only hundred and seventy lines of code so you know this is information that you're going to be able to digest you're going to be able to download the source code and look through it and using the ebook and the videos you're going to be able to figure this out and have a good foundation to build your own web application prototypes and so the end result of all this is this right here and this is what I'm going to build in the ebook and in the video crash course 
So as you can see, we've got functionality, we've got rollovers, and we've got our information lined out in a pleasing way. We've got enough white space around text elements. We've got some visual information here to add a level of visual excitement. And so basically, you can see how this is where we end up. And this is the smartphone version of the same web application prototype. So you can see we've got our same information in these areas. We've got our categories. We see how this right bar here shifts right here. And even in the footer, we can see how the footer is obviously at the bottom, but we've used it a little bit differently. You know, we've taken a little bit of information and use this space wisely. So you're going to have source code for both the big design, the big design is for tablets, phablets, desktop, and then you're going to have the small design which is for smartphones. So you're going to have all this information in code format, you're going to have ebook format telling you how it's done, and you're also going to have the videos that expound on the ebook that drive home what you've what you've just learned and what you've seen and read about. So you see how we're going to go from this to this. And we're going to be using HTML5. We're going to be using CS3 uh, CSS3 we're going to be using Flexbox. Uh, we're going to have a focus on that to make this thing responsive and make it easier to design. We're going to use Sublime Text 3. That's my text editor of choice, but you can use Dreamweaver. You can use Notepad. You can use Eclipse. You can use whatever you want, but I like Sublime Text 3. And that's what you'll see in the videos and in the ebook instruction and we're going to use a little bit of jQuery um, let me refresh this and that little spinner you saw right there that's done in jQuery and so I'm going to have a little uh, section in uh, the ebook and in in the video instruction and we'll cover how to build that spinner and how to inject a little bit of jQuery into your web application prototypes. So this is the actual um, book product page and I've got it right now on LearnPub. It's 113 pages so you're not having to read a 300 page book here. Um, I've timed this thing out and it's basically a two hour read. Uh, the two hour ebook plus the two and a half hours of the video instruction. If you go through those two things, you're going to have a solid foundation on how to build a web application prototype using Sketch3, HTML5, CSS3, Flexbox, and jQuery you're gonna have all this down and you're gonna have the thirst to look and and do things faster and better than the way I'm showing you so in the book product page we've got our table of contents and I also break down what you get in the video instruction so if you want to get something that's concise that's in one place that you can kind of wrap your head around and understand this is really what I would recommend I wish I had this ebook and this video course um, it would have saved me a lot of time and honestly a lot of money because time is money and so you know this is something that I, I know you're gonna get a lot out of particularly if you are an artist or a designer a graphic designer who wants to level up and and get your arms around front-end development 
even if you're a front-end developer uh, this uh, is showing you how to use sketch a lot of the a lot of times you know the design is just left out in this course the design is part of what we're doing is part of what we're doing with the ACDC methodology uh, because design is right in the middle of ACDC okay so this is a methodology in a way of, of coding and doing front-end development and doing web prototypes that has design at its core so design and coding are important and it gets covered concisely and simply um, with web design using Sketch, Flexbox, and jQuery. So, so take a look at it and thank you for considering um, my ebook and video course. Thanks.